ਫੁੱਲ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਬਿਨ ਸੰਗਤ ਮੈਲ ਪਰੀ ਜੈ ਜੀਓ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਜੀ we just heard from professor saheb a beautiful lecture on the uh, sukhmani saheb's shlok and aspadi number 5 the very first four pads asi hone sukhmani saheb shlok panjwa ate aspadi panjwe de pehle char pad ya bare professor saheb to beautiful acha itna ati sundar lecture suniya si te fir us to baad shabad aa reya si bin bhaga sat sang na labe bin sangat mail pari jay jiyo kyunki is aspadi de vich mithya bare bahut galla aan ਕਿਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਿੱਥਿਆ ਬਾਰੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਹੁਣੇ ਸਮਝਾਇਆ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਉਹ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝਾਵਾਂਗਾ ਪਰ ਦਾਸ ਨੂੰ ਹੁਕਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਵੀ ਹੁਣੇ ਸੁਖਮਨੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਾਇਆ ਗਿਆ ਜੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਮਝ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੇ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਵੈਰੀ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਫਾਰ ਦਾ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਯੰਗਰ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਫਾਰ ਆਵਰ ਯੂਥ ਹੂ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਕੰਪ੍ਰੀਹੈਂਡ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਫੁਲੀ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਕਲਾਸਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਅਪ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੈ ਸੇਡ ਹੀ ਵਿਲ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਕੰਡਕਟਿੰਗ ਦੈਮ ਸੂਨ ਸੋ ਦੋਸ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਆਲਸੋ ਲਰਨ gurbani and punjabi please do let us know but in today's lecture he spoke a lot about mithya mithya is where we attach ourselves to the worldliness and the need for us to detach from that so as we unveil the jewels in the sri guru granth sahib ji what we call pyo dade da khol de tha kazana let us all just bow our heads and say wah guru ji thank you so much for giving us this golden opportunity because not everybody gets to be in this beautiful lectures and it is word pagi har sangat paave we were listening to that shabad just now by great good fortune we come to the congregation of the sad sang good and on the other hand paghin pram chota khave those who are unfortunate ones they are wandering around in doubt and during the painful beatings of the world that is what today sukmani sahib will talk about mithya and we will talk about that and in the third line that we just heard was vinapaga vinapaga means without good fortune if we don't have the good fortune then we will not find the sad sangat sat sang na labe and guru ji says bin sangat mal parijeju we will be stained with so much of filth and pollution and that's where we got to learn to connect with today's shabad uh, the sukmani sab aspadi and slok number 5 where we're going to talk about den har prab chhod ke lage aan swai lage aan swai means i have been stuck <laughs> look at that to other affairs of the world and guruji says today we embark on this fascinating journey into the profound wisdom of vai guru ji and i tell you this beautiful scripture is our living guru ji and he's oh guru ji the living guru ji is giving us invaluable guidance because there are a lot of complexities in our life today you will all agree with me and if you agree you can always comment below that yes i agree and this uh this teachings of the sri guru granth sahib ji are going to help us to achieve spiritual enlightenment so throughout this lecture 
uh, Professor Seb has been shedding light on Sukhmani Seb just now. And I would like to also touch in English, especially practical and spiritual significance. Jo aaj hune, Professor Seb has been hune hune sab jaya hai. Kyunki nanak agli pangti vich Guru Ji ki kende ne kahu na se jai. You and I will never succeed in life. Bin na ve. Without the name of the Lord, the qualities of the Lord God pata jai. We will lose our honor so come as you listen to this beautiful lecture and um, uh, before you start in fact please take as many notes and ask him any questions because professor sir will be joining us again in the next session and he will be able to answer and why we should listen to this entire lecture uh, it's because like i said it is a treasure trove of knowledge, the Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It gives us unique facets of wisdom, which we don't get to learn anywhere else. And as we listen attentively, I guarantee you, we will have a holistic understanding of, uh, you can say, Guruji's teachings and make our life better in every way. Now, a lot of us, we love to listen to the lectures by Professor Saab and all the other speakers a lot of time, multiple times, because repetition is the key to internalizing these profound concepts. So if we don't understand, like for example, today, let's look at this concept of Dain Har. Who is a Dain Har? Dain Har is the great God giver. Within the Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Guruji says something beautiful. Then har sad jivan hara. Look at this word sad. Sad means forever and ever and jivan hara means Vaguruji is still here alive today. Whatever ardas, whatever prayer we have, Whatever supplication, whatever we ask for, jo mangat thakur apnete, so he, so he, they were. The great giver is here, Joe Mango So Power. And each time you listen to this, I guarantee you, you will discover a new layer of me uh, meaning that will resonate with your current life experiences. So feel free to comment below. Because Guruji says, Why have I, Man Murakyo Tahe Bisara? Why have you forgotten that great giver? That Dan Har Sadhajivan Hara, he's always here, he's always going to give us. And what if you have any questions while we do this? Please remember, Dan Har Prabhachodke. Actually, we don't need to leave the side of Guruji. Lage aunts, why? We don't need to attach ourselves to others. We just got to come back to ask away all those questions because what if you have questions? The more we delve into the teachings of my Guruji, together as we come to these congregations to do Gurumuk Pyare Satsang, I guarantee you the richer our understanding is going to become. So don't hesitate to ask questions. And uh, those of you who want to unmute and share your thoughts anytime, just raise your hands or unmute and we will all learn from each other. Because Guruji says on one side, Jeko hoi behedatar. If we brag that I have everything, I give to charities. Look, there is no one such a greater donor than I am. Guruji says this dain har jane gavar. The great giver Lord Bhagruji will say, Palji, you are such a fool if you think you are the giver, because the real true giver is in the Sukhmani Seb Aspadi number five and the slok number. Five, we are learning about Dain Har Prabhachod ke lage an soi nanak kahuna sijai bin na ve patajai. That if we renounce God, Vahagriji, the true giver, if we attach ourselves to other affairs, then without the name, without the gun, without the qualities of Lord, of the good qualities, we will never have any honor, we will never be able to succeed. And I'll share the PDF of these lecture notes because there are also a lot more detailed meanings in Punjabi and uh, those of you who like to understand all that it's beautiful and uh, those of you who want more of this information just let us know because this opening line of us 
and slok number five. I think it sets the tone for today's lecture. Just that Professor Sabjani Sanu Sam Jayaga, it will teach us to renounce um, maybe the attachment to the world and not renounce God. Because when we connect to God, we will have solace, which we will never find true success and solace anywhere. So I thank you all for joining us and let us go on into deeper understanding of today's topic, Dain Har, that who is the true giver? Because Guruji says, Data, Pogata, Dain Har, this bin Avarna Jai, the great giver, Lord God, Vagruji, he's the enjoyer. He's the bestower. And there's no other place at all that we can go to, that we can turn to. So come, as we learn these beautiful topics, I think it is going to teach us about detachment, nirlepta. You know, because Mithya, Guruji talks about Mithya in the fourth Pada. And we also heard a lot about that. We will also learn a lot about faith, reliance, to have true prosa. I think, um, you know, tere prose peare me lad ladaya. You must have heard of that Shabbat before. And look at the screen. I'll try and share as many beautiful uh, words and quotations from Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji as we study these scriptures. Because Guruji says, relying on your mercy, tere prose peare. Peare is, oh my Lord God, Vagriji, me lad ladaya. Enjoy the entire world. And it is all about learning that as long as we are here, it is okay to enjoy the world, but it is not okay to cling to the worldly pleasures. And I think today's uh, Pada will tell us that it's emphasizing the futility of trying to find happiness outside. Yes, parosa is very important because Guruji says Gurmat De Parosa Tere. I want to have only faith in you that, oh Lord, I do not need to depend on anything else. Bless us with the teachings of my Guruji because our faith will become true. And today's lecture, we will understand this so much more because Deen Deal Parose Tere Sab Parwar Chadaya Vede Guruji says, along with my entire family, my loved ones, we have come aboard your boat, Vahguruji, and Vahguruji merciful of the meek, meek Deen Deal. We have placed our faith in you, Vagruji. Bless us in every way. Because we like to look for happiness where? Outside. We like to look for fulfillment where? Outside. And Guruji says in a beautiful Shabbat, I'm sure many of you would have heard this Shabbat. It says, Sab ke karme. Have you heard this Shabbat before? Sab ke karme. Bahar nahi. Sab kich karma means everything is within the home of the self. Not only the home that we live in, the buildings, but the home of our heart center. And there is nothing beyond. Guruji says, Bahar tole, Palji. If you are looking for outside happiness, if you are looking for joy outside, so param pulahi, then you are deluded by doubt. Now, for those of you who are saying, I can't read the Punjabi fonts. No worries. We have the transliter transliteration here. Uh, sorry, I mispronounced that. But uh, don't just rely on the transliteration because it's not very accurate. Make sure you come for the Punjabi classes by Professor Seb and then you will learn. Because as you learn this, the third part says Gur Parsadi. Gur Parsadi means when I have the grace of my true Guruji. Jini Antar Paya. These three words teach us to look within to find Vaigruji within ourselves. Look at that. The word is within. And what will happen? Happiness will come both inwardly and outwardly. So, Antar Bahar. So, Helajiyo. We don't need to look for happiness outside. So, how many of you would like to be happy? Maybe you can comment below and say, I love to be happy. But not just, how many of you want to be happy outside? Maybe many of us want to be happy within ourselves too. Why? Because when we are happy within, then let me share some of the practical meanings for living uh, in this 21st century life that we will learn from today's uh, teachings in the Sukhmani Seb. And I think the first thing is, 
ਤਣਾ ਅਤੇ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਨੂੰ ਘਟਾ ਲਵਾਂਗੇ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਰਿਡਿਊਸ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਸ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਰਿਡਿਊਸ ਐਂਜ਼ਾਈਟੀਜ਼ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਲੈਟ ਗੋ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਰਲਡਲੀ ਅਟੈਚਮੈਂਟਸ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਫਾਈਂ ਪੀਸ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਫਾਈਂ ਸਰੀਨਿਟੀ ਡੀਪ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਅਸ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਆਵਰ ਸੈਲਫਸ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਸੋ ਅੰਤਰ ਬਾਹਰ ਸੋਹੇਲਾ ਜੀਓ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਡ ਸੋਹੇਲਾ ਇਜ਼ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਇਟ ਇਟ ਸੇਸ ਸੋਹੇਲਾ ਇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟ ਸਟੇਟ ਆਫ ਅਨੰਦ ਇਹਾ ਘਾਟ ਚਲੋ ਹਰ ਲਾਹਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸੋਹੇਲਾ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਫॉर ਥੋਸ ਆਫ ਯੂ who came for our kirtan swela lectures we learned from professor sab the importance of doing kirtan swela before we go to bed guru ji says aage basan sohela as you go to bed tonight and as you sleep too and as you wake up tomorrow you will earn the profit of the name of lord vahguru ji and from now on you will always have peace within yourself and everywhere you go because sohela kahan kahavan it is easy to speak and talk about this peace but guruji says tera become bhavan but it's difficult to accept the will of lord god vaguruji so when we learn to live in the will of god vaguruji this shabad by the way is by the fifth guru sri guru arjan dev ji you remember he had to sit on a hot plate had hot sand poured over him but tera become pavan was not a problem with him he said i accept your will o lord whatever happens in my life i love your will o lord and this will lead to us having improved relationships in our life you You see one of the biggest reason for our relationship issues in the world and not being happy is of course we don't love to live in the will of god and we live in the will of our ego when we have ego within guru ji says oh my that is when jab hum hote tab tu nahi ab tu hi main nahi a day should come when we should get rid of our ego because guru ji says nanak hau main mare sada udasa those who con their ego they remain detached from the world and they have got no problems in the world because nirmal bani nij karwasa you can see the beautiful words on screen nij nirmal bani and i will also have this in your lecture notes so for those of you who want the pdf you can always contact us nirmal bani guru ji says through the teachings of this immaculate bani of the word we dwell within the home of our inner self remember that's where true happiness is nij kar vaase de vich sachcha sohela sachi khushi ate nane guru ji agli pankti vich ki keh rahe ne home mare we have to kill that ego within sada udasa and we got to learn to live happily within the abode of our own home within our inner self and as we still our ego as we detach ourselves then we will have true happiness those of you who have the pdf you can always look within at the lecture notes and those who don't have it no worries contact us and we will share the messages and gurbani with you so you can revise it so coming to the next session or the next section of today's lecture aaj de aspadi to asi hor ki sikhya si we also learned that there are a lot of financial you can say insecurities in the world so how many of you would love to have financial security professor saab ne bahut achhi tarah se de waste is ki kehnde ne topic te roshni pai si that detachment from material possessions fosters what's called contentment and it will reduce our financial anxieties let us always have what's called gratitude aao asi hamesha wah guru tera sab sadka that let's say thank you and offer what he has given back to him wah guru ji and edify god because he will give us many fold more guru ji kehnde ne jis ki bast this aage rakhe when one offers to wahguru ji god what belongs to god and next line prab ki aagya whatever guru ji says whatever is the will of the lord god mane mathe willingly we learn to abide and live within this guru ji says uste chogun kare ne ha let's memorize this beautiful line uste chogun kare ne ha yes we have also left it in your 
your lecture notes. You can see it will be there in your PDF. And it says, the Lord will make you four times happier. Wow, happy four times over. But you know what? Why will he do that? Nana, Guruji says, Sahib Sada Deyal. This word Deyal is merciful. We may not have too much time to go into the uh, details of Satguru Hoi Deyal. I'm sure you have heard this line before Satguru Hoi Deyal. Ta Sharda Uriye. Maybe we can listen to that lecture again. It says, When my true Guruji is merciful, Jodo Deyalu Hondene Ta Sharda Uriye. All your desires will be fulfilled. So I don't know uh, why you came to join us for today's lecture, but let's memorize these words. Nanak Sahib Sada Deyal. Kyonji, kyonki satgur hoy deyal, ta sharda puriye. All our desires will be fulfilled. And that is what we learned even in today's Aspadi. And you can read the meanings in Punjabi as I share the PDF lecture notes with you. To see Jarur Punjabi, which we hold parna, kyonki sano hold samaj aegi, that as we learn these things, then and stronger worth ethics will come into our life. Satguru hoye deyal na kabuhu churiye. We will never grieve. We will never have any kind of sadness. We will focus on our duty. We will focus on honesty at work. We will have the fruits of our labor and we will have a fulfilling, fulfilling work life balance. And that's so important, isn't it? Because Guruji says, Satguru hoye deyal. Duk means pain, sorrow, suffering. You will never make decisions in your life that will lead to pain, sorrow, suffering. Because when we leave detachment um, behind, or rather when we have detachment and we leave the attachment to the world behind, detachment from the outcome of what we are doing will allow us to make clearer and more objective decisions. And then you will never have duk in your life. Because Guruji says, Dukha na janiye, and that's a guarantee. And once we have no Dukha, what will happen? Satguru hoye deyal. When Guruji becomes merciful, we will enjoy the love of our Guruji. We will have closer connection with God because detachment from Maya will allow us to focus on the spiritual connection with our Guruji. And the next line says, Ta jamka darkeha. Satguru hoye deyal. Ta jamka darkeha. When God is merciful, why should we even fear anything, even death? And Satguru Hoi Deal Ta Sadhi Sukadeya. We will have peace within the body at all times when Lord is merciful. Satguru Hoi Deal Ta Navanid Paye. All the nine treasures of the world will be ours. And in the last part, Satguru Hoi Deal Ta Satcha Samaya. That is called closer connection with Vahiguruji. Detachment from Maya will help us to become absorbed in Vaiguruji and Gurbani says Jyon Jyon Oveda Yeh Tio Tio Har Sio Rang as you come and listen to these beautiful lectures by Professor Sab and all the other beautiful teachers that we have one day we will detach from worldliness, the maya. We will detach from the home, the ego within. And as we abandon egotism, Guruji says we will become detached from the world and we will absorb ourselves in the true intuitive understanding that's when beautiful absorption into oneness with god will come and we will become one with him then we will have i guarantee you inner peace because letting go of the worldly desires it will bring us closer to a state of inner tranquility it will give us what's called true freedom because detachment from our ego will liberate us from the limitations of the mind and ourself god lord guruji vahguruji has got so much power our mind is limited so maybe we need to go and focus on spiritual growth through the 
ਟੀਚਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਰੱਬ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜਾਂਗੇ ਜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਦਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਸਰੈਂਡਰ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਆਵਰ ਬੋਡੀ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਆਵਰ ਵੈਲਥ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਵਾਈਗਰੀ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਫੋਲੋ ਐਂਡ ਓਬੇ ਦੀ ਆਰਡਰ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਿਲ ਆਈ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਵਾਈਗਰੀ ਜੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨਾ ਤਨ ਮਨ ਤਨ ਸਭ ਸੌਂਪ ਗੁਰ ਕੋ ਸਭ ਸੌਂਪ ਗੁਰ ਕੋ ਮੀਨਸ ਜਸਟ ਆਫਰ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਹੁਕਮ ਮਨੀਏ ਪਾਈਏ ਨਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਵਿਲ ਟੀਚ ਅਸ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਬਾਊਟ ਹੁਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹੁਕਮ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਬਿਗ big big topic by itself in another session we will discuss hukam and why it's so important to listen to the hukam and follow to the hukam of god and the reason is it's actually what is called divine love when we detach ourselves from worldly love and we connect ourselves to what's called divine love when we hukam manie paye when we experience the pure eternal love of vaigriti god and then i'll tell you we will be able to address some of the common problems that are faced by you and me in all our lives today so how many of you have anxieties have insecurities because the shabads that we are studying today will teach us uh, to have security have confidence in lord god vaigriji rather than external validation because we always look for validation outside number 2 we always have materialistic desires of the world as we learn to detach ourselves from the materialistic desires then the lesson today will guide us to move beyond the cravings for possessions of the world and focus on the true riches within ourselves and then we won't even have the fear of loss because people think what if i lose everything that i that you know that i have and guruji says detachment from the impermanent things will help us to overcome the fear of losing them everything is just, is just impermanent nothing is permanent except the name and the love of god by guruji why don't we attach ourselves to god by guruji guruji says even this body is impermanent it is unstable o oh, atha eho thir na rahave god is the only one beautifully who is going to be unfathomable beyond our understanding but he's permanent and he's going to be there forever for us everything else is going to go so let us let go of the attachment to the world and i know for sure our relationship struggles will be gone because by letting go of the ego i'm sure many of you agree possessiveness and ego are the two reasons we are having a lot of struggles in our life and we can cultivate healthier more fulfilling relationships in our life when we do that so how many of you would love to have beautiful relationships in your life please put me 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 and how many of you would also love to have uh maybe career and business and job satisfaction because there are a lot of career dissatisfactions that we hear about every day uh from a lot of satsangis who join us and this shabads remind us that true fulfillment yes true fulfillment will only come as we align ourselves and today's aspadi i hope you are learning something today and in the last few minutes that i have i'll just tell you something you heard the pankti from professor sab and he has already discussed line by line the meanings of today's aspadi so i will not repeat them in the um, essence of time but one line that's really worth looking at is a bina ek bina de das bi hirle what if that one thing that was uh, given to us and we don't thank why guruji and guruji doesn't give us any more because we don't appreciate it and then the ten things that he wanted to give us he also then doesn't give us then to mura koh kaha kare guruji says then pal ji what will you do you will be just a fool if you don't learn to say thank you vaguruji you have given us so many blessings you have given us so much grace so some of the actionable steps maybe let's write down and take home today is to practice maybe a lot more simran regular meditation on the name of the lord to cultivate 
detachment from the concerns of the world. Maybe let's connect ourselves to selfless service, what is called seva. As we engage in seva, it will allow us to let go of our ego. It will help us to focus on the well-being of others. Let us learn from today's lecture contentment is very important and as we practice gratitude gratitude and contentment wahguru tera sab sadka remember i shared that with you earlier wahguru tera sab sadka seva ke parpur jug jug wahguru tera sab sadka it's a beautiful shabad uh, the same line wahguru tera sab sadka appears twice in sri guru granth sahib ji seva ke parpur jug jug first time it says wahguru can you see it's wah guru tera sab sadka and the second time it appears it says vahe guru with a sehari and the first time it's a, a mukta so i just want to share in the last um, we have less than 10 minutes left and i just want to thank you for this beautiful opportunity vai guru ji because we are totally fulfilled with all your blessings throughout our uh, throughout the ages because forever and forever we are thankful to you this is called contentment this is called gratitude and let us avoid comparing ourselves to others what we call keeping up with the joneses let us sing the praises of the lord god kirtan let's immerse ourselves with the uplifting spiritually charged gurbani kirtan and let us study sikhism even deeper as we come to do that we will get lots of modern day benefits as we have learned in this aspadi today so in the last 8 minutes that we have if anyone has any questions you can always type them in the um, comments box or after this professor sab may be ready to answer all our questions because we are all living in a fast paced materialistic world aren't we so here i think in the last few minutes let's end off with some of the benefits that we can learn in the 21st century from today's lesson number 1 it will help us to combat consumerism by detaching ourselves from acquiring the latest gadgets oh i want to have the latest iphone i want to follow the latest trends no instead of following the latest trends uh, and it's not bad it is good to follow but don't attach ourselves detach from them don't let them control us let us be in control and if we are then we will live more meaningful sustainable lives it will reduce what's called social comparison today due to social media you will notice everyone wants to be like the joneses the joneses it's it's a very fam- famous question keeping up with the jones which means are you trying to be like the other people are you trying to make sure that your ego is as big as theirs because in social media we see people doing this doing that and every kind of photos and videos videos are there that helps us to basically to reconnect with maya the attachment to the world to our ego and when we detach from our ego guruji says it will help us to appreciate our own unique qualities and avoid the pitfalls of social media envy now this is so important for our young people today it will improve our mental well-being because there's so much stress after especially covid-19 a lot of people are going through these anxieties so letting go of all our anxieties about the achievements about the possessions will foster mental clarity emotional well-being and i'll tell you something then we will have better success in our life we will strengthen all our relationships because we'll be focusing on genuine connection and selfless acts that strengthen the bonds with others and even at work and even in play we will find true purpose and we will have detachment from just the career titles for the sake of the titles and the promotions and it would allow us to find deeper meaning and purpose in the work we do and fulfillment in life in general so as we end today's lecture i want to say thank you for all of you taking out your precious time do join us all the time and i bring you back to the aspadi because this line that i'm going to share professor sabji has already explained it in detail but i think it's so important to take home a message jis thakur so nahi chara when we cannot move that lord god by force what should we do ta ko ki je sad namaskara let's bow forever in adoration in love and respect for god by guru ji let's say thank you by guru ji jis malak de naal assi koi bhi thakka nahi kar sakde let us 
look for thank you vaigriti in our vocabulary let us learn for beautiful more additional enrichments from sri guru granth sahib ji to learn about detachment and the reliance on vaigriti and let us learn about the importance of letting go of our ego and letting go of the worldly attachments i like to end off by just sharing with you a story of a young sikh who came for last week's professor sabs lecture and he shared with us you know what i i was very stressed he said at work and our uh, in relationships and i was constantly chasing the next promotion but what i felt was inadequacy and i was always comparing myself to my social media peers because they were achieving so many things but he said after last week's lecture um you know all the messages that were shared by professor saab resonated so much with him and they gave him a path of inner peace and a more fulfilled life so how many of you would love to have this because friends if you are seeking deeper connection if you are seeking deeper meaningful life and a peaceful life we encourage you to explore the riches of sikhism and all these beautiful lectures that are coming up by professor saab and all the other wonderful trainers we will love you to join us take advantage of these resources delve deeper into the wisdom of sri guru granth sahib ji and let's embark on a journey of transformation and the benefits of what's called continued learning look we call ourselves sikhs and if we want to learn more about the sikh philosophy and the practical applications to daily life then we got to come and connect and i want to thank professor sa once again because beautifully his continued learning efforts to teach us not only once or twice but many times in this um these weeks every time i'm sure they have given us a lot of personal growth spiritual development and they have given us connection with the vibrant sea community so uh, thank you professor saab ji dobara aap ji da bahut bahut dhanwad karde ha te assi eh binti karange ki aunde samay de vich vi aap sade zindagi de vich is tarah is tarah de transformation le aana you bring about such changes like one student has uh, just given their testimonial and i like to read this to you i quote and unquote i used to be consumed by anxiety but by practicing detachment and focusing on vaigruti's will i have found a new found sense of peace happiness joy and prosperity so how many of you love to have a new sense um, of peace and joy as we conclude let's all just uh, you know end back at the lines uh, that we learned in today's um and sukhmani said and it's in fact the next line if you look on the screen ja ke man laga prab meetha akhir de vich aao assi conclusion karde ha let's understand detachment from world attachments is important surrendering to vaguru ji is so important and it will give us a meaningful and spiritually fulfilling life ja ke man laga prab meetha guru ji says on to whom that god seems to become sweet sarb sukh tahu man utha then all pleasures will come to us to our mind and guru ji says when we have all the pleasures and all the beautiful things in our life then all we got to say is jis jan apna hukum manaya from today's lecture guru guru ji says just like professor sab has explained we will learn to live in the will of the vahguru ji and the last line i want to end off with it's sarab thok nanak tin paya guru ji says we will be blessed and we will be obtaining all the joys the beauties of our life and we will have sarb sukh tahu manvutha sarb sukh is all kinds of happiness you heard from professor saab in his lecture about uh, lak khushiya pat shanya de sat gur nadar kare guru ji says yes lak khushiya means beautiful joys 100000 times lak khushiya pat shanya je sat gur nadar kare when guru ji blesses us we will have hundreds and thousands of kinds of princely pleasures in our life and we will enjoy them but the condition is 
Satguru Nadar Kare, the true Guruji bestows his glance of gra grace. So those of you who have not um, listened to Professor Sab's lecture, Abji Dubara, Professor Sab's lecture, we Punjabi with Sun Sikadeo, the Das Ete Kemada Jachik Hoiga. Please let us strive, let us pray, let us pray for each one of us that, oh Lord, bless us that we embrace this wisdom that we have been given today. Let us embark on a path of inner transformation. And please do forgive me for any mistakes and shortcomings. And I thank you for giving us this beautiful opportunity to share your precious time. And if you have any points you want to clarify, or maybe you want to share your wonderful thoughts, or you want to get a PDF of these lectures, feel free to WhatsApp us at the number that appears on the screen. Thank you, G. Pulchukdi Mafi, Wah Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wah Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Thank you, Ji.